the Catholic Church speaks. Dear Kenyans and people of goodwill, we are encouraging IABC and up to still now, we want to say they have tried their best. We want to encourage them to do their very best, not to be swayed away. And we want to pray for them too, not to bash them only, but to encourage them to solve each problem that comes their way. On this part, IEBC must truly be honest and transparent too. It's a task to ensure that the will of Kenyan and voters prevail. The memories of contested outcomes, and particularly the president, should be a caution to everyone that we expect nothing short of free, fair, and credible elections. We are once more strongly urge every registered Kenyan and voter to come out on the 9th of August and vote. Voting is, is not only a right, but is your responsibility if we get the wrong le leaders because you didn't vote. We challenge you. You are putting us into trouble. It is also allowed to demand leadership, service delivery. We in this way contribute to making our country better place by de de determining the qualities of our leaders. Only one candidate will win, especially all those posts where you need one person. We must therefore be ready to accept elections results as a choice of the people. We urge our candidates to be measured in expressing the emotions of victory or defeat. We must avoid making provocative and utterances that will only incite people to fight or to violence. Let us respect one another. And even these memories or moments of respect our fellow citizens, we must exercise the great patience as we wait to the final results. After the ninth, we vote and go home we must be patient. Don't be anxious. After all, the results eventually will come. We must especially appeal to the candidates to avoid agitating acclamations until the official results are announced officially by none other but IEBC. Voting procedures. I like to remind ourselves of voting procedures. We all need to familiarize ourselves with the voter procedures to ensure everyone vote counts. Please protect your ID at this time. There are those who are selling their IDs for money. I know there's challenges of PESA, but this is not the time to sell your shamba, which is your ID. Do not be cheated to give away for anything, even if you're promised Shamba opposition. Follow the rules of voting. Avoid those who will seek to convince you as you wait for your turn to vote. Voting is done by placing an X, and I repeat, placing an X and mark on the ballot paper next to the preferred candidate, and placing the ballot paper which is stamped in the right box they are, color, they are colored in the light, right color box of that choice you are making. Most importantly, once you have voted, go home. Me and you can now say, let's wait, like you wait for a cake to bake, tuone inaiva ya suragani. Kumbe, pongezini kwa wale mepanya siyasa za utulivu, pongezini kwa wale ambao mekataa kutuliwa, kutumiwa vibaya, Pongezini kwa wale ambao meamua mimi nitapigia kura fulani na sitaji kushinikizwa kwa pesa au kwa njia yoyote nyingine ile. We need to be peacemakers as we vote, count the votes and transmit the results. And at the end of the whole election process, all 
of us will be winners by how we conduct ourselves and keep the peace. The Catholic Church speaks.